G'day guys, the weather's a little bit better today in Melbourne, a bit warmer which is good. So today I want to talk about the changes in medicine due to all the new technology and my life expectancy. So right now I'm 61 year old male Australian and my expected healthy life expectancy number is between 10 and 15 years. So let's say you know, 75 it is right now and what they're predicting is that that's going to increase by a couple of years within the next say five or six years that's going to go up to between 16 and 17 years healthy life expectancy because of the new technology and the advancements in uh, research and care which is good news for all of us, I guess, as we get a bit older. So what I want to do today is touch on 10 reasons why now is a good time to be getting older. The first point is the development of more personalised medicines. Because they're doing a lot more research, all the predictions are medicine is going to become a lot more personalised. So instead of just a generic medicine for a generic issue, they're going to be able to personalise your medicine, which will have a very positive effect, make you get better quicker. And even because you get more personalised attention, the prevention, the figures on prevention should go a lot higher as well. So that's point number one, personalised medicine. The second one is improved diagnostics. Improved early detection and screening technologies is going to help us identify the health issues much earlier, which will reduce the time that you'll be sick or not feeling great. So that's a very uh, positive development in modern medicine. The next one is continued improvement in telehealth. So you'll be able to get treatment, and consultations remotely like a lot of people are doing that now but that's just going to improve as time goes on uh, so that's another big positive you won't necessarily have to go to the doctor for everything they might even be able to do remote diagnosis and uh, I guess monitoring so that's another big benefit as we move forward the next one is the continued advancement of health monitoring devices, like the, your smart watches now. You know, they've improved a lot over the last four or five years and they'll continue to improve. So you'll have these devices that you'll have, maybe you're wearing them or maybe you've got them at home. So in the past, you would have to go to a doctor or a hospital to get uh, analysis done. But these smart devices are getting better and better. And as time goes on, more and more people are going to be able to have those at home or you'll be able to wear them. So, and the, uh, you know, the data will be able to be sent back to your doctor you know, in, in real time. So that's a massive bonus as, uh, as time goes by that people in the past didn't have, that, have access to those things. So that's the next one. So the next one is a progress in generative medicine. So developments in stem cell technology and tissue engineering could offer new treatments in age related illnesses. So that's another big advancement that's happening in medicine right now. And it's gonna have a positive effect on all of us as time goes by. The next one is I think everyone's become a lot more aware of age related issues. So in, uh, you know, in where you live and how we move around. So things are going to get better and better over time to assist in people as they get older. So we're a lot more aware of what older, older people can do and what they have trouble doing. So that's the next positive thing. There's been a lot of development and a lot of work on that. And everyone is a lot more aware of age related issues and the government's and the whole of community is really focused on trying to make life easier for people as they get older. So that's the next positive thing. 
The next one is as the whole world goes more and more renewable type energy, then energy costs should come down, which is positive for the planet and a positive for everyone as well. So yeah, if we keep on working on these renewables like solar and wind and all these different renewables, uh, yeah, things are gonna get better and better for us over time. And that should lead to a reduction in prices of energy because that's one of the big issues at the moment in the world, the price of energy. The next positive of getting older at this stage is the amount of learning you can do online. Basically, you can learn anything now online. There's so much information available. You've just got to know how to search for it, how to access it. But if you want to keep learning something or learn something new, you can do it now online. You know, maybe 20 years ago, you couldn't do that. It was much harder to learn new things, but now it's very easy to learn something new. So that's another benefit of uh, getting older in this day today 2024 that people didn't have access to a while ago and it's just going to get better and better the next one is there's so much work now being done on age related diseases and health issues you know like alzheimer's and things like that parkinson's disease there's so much effort going into trying to you know work out why they happen and and even on you know cures and prevention. So that's gonna continue because they're major issues, especially in the Western world. Uh, I know Alzheimer's is a real problem in Australia, Parkinson's as well, and there's you know lots of other diseases, but there's a lot of research and funding, a lot of work going in to try to solve those issues or lessen them, that's for sure. Next one, there's more and more uh, attention being directed towards active aging or getting people out exercising every day and there's lots of programs now around for people as they're getting older that they probably never used to be when our parents were sort of my age they didn't have all the programs and all the information about how important it is to keep active so there's a, uh, there's a big push for everyone as they age to keep active, keep healthy, keep moving. Don't just sit around. And that's gonna be a big benefit as, uh, as everyone gets older. And the last one, which is uh, amazing that it's happening. A lot of people think it would never happen, but I'm a firm believer in it's gonna happen very soon, is autonomous vehicles. I know you know, Elon Musk is a big believer in it and there's quite a few other companies, Google's working on it. Um, quite a few companies in China are working on it and it's a autonomous vehicles. So basically, you know, you just uh, contact the, uh, the company, a bit like Uber is now, but you don't, there won't be any drivers. So the car will just turn up and it'll take you to wherever you want to go so there'll be less need to have your own car and rely on other people. I'm a big believer, I think that's definitely gonna happen. It's just a matter of when, I guess. Not sure of the year, but uh, yeah, that's definitely gonna happen. So that's gonna be another big benefit that my generation is gonna be able to uh, benefit from where generations in the past couldn't do that you know and it's always been a big problem well part of the problem is people try to keep driving way beyond the age that they should stop driving and then the next one is you know it's a hassle to get around so that's going to solve that problem autonomous driving will solve that issue so looking forward to that not sure when it will happen but it'll happen all right hopefully you enjoyed this one so I'd love to hear all your comments. Leave your comments down below there. I've touched on quite a few different aspects of why I think the, the future is very positive for people of my generation and older. But yeah, leave your comments down below. Let me, let me know what you think. If you like this one, hit the, uh, 
the thumbs up, hit the like button, and hit the subscribe button, and I'll keep on uh, making videos similar to this one. All right, hope you're having a great day. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.